straight from us here in Mount Auburn. John, thank you. Let's talk about the weather now. And unfortunately, it could be a rocky Thursday. Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson is tracking the storms headed our way with your full forecast tonight. Hi, Kev. Hey, Sheree. Yeah, we've got some very spring like weather set to move in here tomorrow with rain that's going to impact both of your commutes, both in the morning and then in the evening with the potential for some severe storms. In fact, I'd like to consider this really quite honestly our first real threat for severe weather of 2019. And you can see here we've got a slight risk already in place across much of the Ohio Valley, including a good chunk of the WOWT viewing area, especially for folks along and west of Interstate 75. Now, I entirely expect that we'll probably see an upgrade in the threat for severe weather late tonight, tomorrow morning. So while we're right now currently in a slight risk, I fully expect we'll probably end up there on the enhanced risk by tomorrow. So here's the concern. We're worried about all modes of severe weather for your Thursday evening here. The potential for strong winds to be the greatest, but there is also the threat for a few tornadoes along with the threat for large hail. It looks like many of the parameters are coming together for a localized outbreak of strong to severe storms on our doorstep in which we'll watch storms march through our area into the evening. Now, aside from storms, this has nothing to do with severe weather. I want to talk about just how windy it's going to be tomorrow as well. It looks like we'll have sustained winds up there around 20 miles an hour, but we could have gusts to 45. So as a result, we could have a few spotty power outages, and this has nothing to do with severe weather. This will primarily be during the afternoon into the evening hours for the region. In the meanwhile, it's pretty quiet out there, but you can already see on Old Glory, we've got a nice south breeze that is starting to crank up and it's only going to get stronger. 68 officially at the airport. You already see now winds sustained just shy of 20. So those winds will really ramp up overnight tonight and into the day tomorrow. Now on the heels of those south breezes, we are benefiting because temperatures today managed to climb into the 70s. In fact, many of you right now still close to 70 and with clouds moving in, it should be a very pleasant spring like March evening around here in which we'll only see temperatures slowly fall tonight. In fact, we'll stay in the 50s all night. So we've got clouds already beginning to move in, but here's that classic late winter spring like storm in Kansas tonight. It is really wound up. It's going to head up towards Green Bay, but it's going to be close enough to sling some severe weather our direction. Here's a look at future casts. You don't have anything to really worry about tonight while you sleep. We'll see rain move in here towards daybreak tomorrow. Here's 5 a.m. This rain will impact your morning commute. It doesn't look terribly heavy, but I suspect we'll deal with some wet roads in the morning. A lull in the rain looks like will take place probably mid to late morning through the early afternoon, and that will set the stage for strong to severe storms in the evening, arriving in the west around four and then essentially working their way across the region through about eight or so. By eight, things are starting to quiet down, and as we head into our Friday, we're back into clouds and cooler weather conditions. But yeah, now's the time to maybe review your severe weather safety preparedness plan. Just in the event tomorrow, you do end up underneath some of those warnings. I suspect it will probably get pretty busy about this time tomorrow night. So showers by morning 53 for an overnight low and then for tomorrow morning rain windy and warm with the threat for strong storms after four o'clock 70 for a high. Very mild in the morning around 56, 66 around noon, 70 there. So if you sneak out tomorrow for lunch, you probably won't have to worry about any wet weather. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Cooler on Friday and then we dry out over the weekend. Sheree and Ashley, but expect cooler temperatures with highs generally between about 45 and 50 Saturday and Sunday. All right. Thank you, Kevin. NKU gets a hero.